Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Wednesday, June 14th, 2023. Let's find out what is going on on the Forex economic calendar today. As you can see, we got plenty of very important data uh, for today and uh, the most important one is of course the um, American Fed interest rate decision, FOMC economic projections, economic statement and FOMC press conference. As usual, the Fed interest rate decision is scheduled for release at 8 o'clock and the press conference 30 minutes later. The market participants expect the Fed to keep the rate steady at the level of 5.25%. So very, very interesting day ahead of us. Please stay focused and vigilant. Now, data from the UK had been published already in form of the manufacturing production and monthly uh, change of the GDP. Um, at half past two, PPI uh, from the US is scheduled for release and at half past four, crude oil inventories are scheduled for release as well. So it looks like together with the FOMC interest rate decision, uh, uh, the second part of the trading day seems to be much, much, much more uh, interesting and especially busy. So we are going to talk about the technical picture of the uh, US dollar at the beginning and all of the markets related to the uh, Fed interest rate decision that will occur at 8 o'clock um, p.m. Uh, later on today. So let's start with the uh, chart of the American dollar first. For our chart of the American dollar, maybe, 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 maybe we will switch to daily. Maybe we will switch to daily because I want to show you guys uh, something very interesting. Since the, uh, let me just swipe it here. Since the uh, September, the, the end of the September last year, uh, and from the high of 114.75, we got the first movement to the downside. Bounce, another movement to the downside. Second attempt, another movement to the downside. Since then, every bounce on the US dollar was an attempt to, uh, was a chance for the best to sell it unless the, the low around the level of 100 was made in February 2023. Then we got the bounce, slight bounce to 105.76. Uh, and since then, we are going down. We are going down towards the, the level of 100.79 again. Basically, it's all about the level of 100. So this is the key level of the technical support in the longer term, okay? So if we take a look here at this, at this situation on a daily time frame chart, let me just zoom in, there you go. We got 150 days moving average. Please take a look here. You see here, doji, you see bearish engulfing pattern, you see maru bozu candle. Everything here is telling us, uh, all of these uh, candlesticks, are telling us that there is a bearish pressure on the US dollar. There is no chance right now with current market conditions for the US dollar to hit the level of 105 and 85, the high from the 8th of the March 2023. So this is how it looks like. We are close uh, inside of this range. Sometimes market is trading above the moving averages, sometimes it's trading below. Right now, this key decision of the Fed uh, re related to the interest rates, of course, which is why these two um, moving averages are so close together because um, this decision is really important for the market participants and the next move will be triggered by the consequences of today's decision. Nevertheless, we can still see the bearish pressure on the US dollar. We can still see the movement to the downside initiated days before the FOMC press conference, the Fed interest rate decision. So maybe something is cooking already. And if this momentum is 
is halt basically if this momentum is um there you go you got the tr trend line here if this momentum will keep moving lower right now we are almost at the level of 50 49 75 there you go why because the market participants await the interest rate decision will they surprise or will they not okay so that's the situation on the us dollar index in case they hike the interest rate decision us dollar index supposed to go up because uh, of course market participants will likely think this way they they hiked which means it's even more expensive I us dollar is even more expensive now might be more expensive in the future let's buy now another hike is on the on the way if they don't hike or if they cut we have a big sell-off we have a big sell-off because the market will be uh, cheering this uh, situation that will be the first cut in in many months many many months so situation of the us dollar is uh, right now very very clear bearish pressure is present but if the market will rebound all of this bearish pressure will be gone the level of 104.67 is the key short-term technical resistance on the daily time frame chart if violated stops will be uh, played as well uh, stops will be triggered another spike to the upside is potentially uh, possible of course so that's the us dollar let's take a look at the market of the s p 500 this is and again daily time frame chart as you can see straight on two things straight on, on a daily time frame chart 50 periods moving average as you can see is right now in line with the price action and just recently like a week ago market took off to the upside so it's right now above prices above the 50 and 100 periods moving average all right so it's clearly a bullish sign the market anticipates another bullish rally despite the fact that they hit extremely overbought market conditions around the level of 4377 okay so sentiment is positive market is trending up nevertheless right now it's kind of a obvious for everyone that this market conditions are extremely overbought look what happened last time after the rally from the extremely oversold market conditions to the extremely overbought we got very big swing down a very big how much is very big well very big is let me just take a look here about uh, i think 10 percent more 17 percent 17 percent down move occurred uh, last time when we hit the extremely overbought market conditions and again we went to extremely oversold so that's the one thing the second thing on the s p 500 daily time frame chart is we we just passed this this level here we just passed this technical resistance you see and again the same the same situation happens here from the technical point of view we are higher roughly 50 points above 4324 right now we are higher 50 points okay so please be careful uh, apparently that's not the low this low might be considered low and this is almost 20 percent so please be be very focused and and wait for the market reaction for this level skill because this breakout here might be a fake one okay might be a fake fake one if not then if we will continue this side then the whole sentiment changes we no longer move from oversold to overbought we have a trending market and the trending market first target would be 4637 that would be the trending market first target all right and the last market that needs to be of course mentioned um is uh, the market of the us dollar to the japanese yen the japanese yen uh, has a completely different interest rates and they are doing completely different things take a look here the whole 2022 big rally until the end of the october big high big um, level here 150 just violated 151.96 was the high 
then two months decline right now the market is trying to resume this rally so far it's going from the overbought extremely overbought market conditions correction extremely overbought market conditions possible correction coming so let's just zoom in let's just zoom in here to see what is going on as i said this market is going to extremely overbought market conditions right so right now the levels of 140.93 are the levels that should be considered uh, expensive basically okay so that's the technical resistance the other the situation is with the local technical support 138.46 is the local technical support and supposed to be maintained if this bullish rally uh, is is to sustain in the future okay 157.92 is the nearest technical support important technical support uh, so uh, this situation should not um, be developing this way this technical support should stay here and we should see another leg to the upside okay so that's the outlook for this positive momentum but the momentum is, has hit extremely over bad conditions so any violation of the intraday technical um, the nearest technical support basically and the the key technical supports might result in a vicious sell-off it all depends on the fed um, interest rate decision right now so what what would you think for a breakout above the 140.94 level where is the next target the next target would be somewhere around the high at 151.96 the high from 2022 but there is still a technical resistance at 145.12 but this market movement is not it doesn't look that much impulsive okay that's my point it doesn't look that much impulsive so please consider the fact that this movement to the upside is in three waves a b and c and might be terminated very 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 quickly and the fed interest rate decision might be a trigger for a bigger sell-off basically that might start today and then continue so stay focused stay vigilant let's wait for the fed to deliver the interest rate decision this uh, this evening thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys tomorrow take care guys and bye bye